Hello, I'm Alex. In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to create custom shape keys. In other software, they may be called blend shapes, morph targets, or simply morphs. You can think of shape keys as layers for morphing geometry. So let me show you how to use them. So I have my example model here, and to create a brand new shape key, you select the model, and let's go to the object data properties tab, which is this green triangle here and we'll go all the way almost to the top and there will be the drop down menu with shape keys so to create a new shape key you simply click on this plus button and if this is your first shape key in the list there will be something called bases i usually keep this layer as the sort of buffer in case i need to go back to the original model and i will create a brand new layer and we'll give it a name so let's say I want to add to this human character some elf ears. So I'll name my first layer ears. And also in the value attributes, I need to put this value to one. This means that the changes that we will make will be at 100%. It is similar to opacity slider in the Photoshop layer. Now we can switch to the sculpting layout, which is here. And we'll do some additional sculpting here. On the left, you'll see all the tools available to you. And I like to drag out this menu so you can see the names for each tool. So you can see approximately what they do. Also, I will turn on this X button. So now I can sculpt on both sides. This activates the symmetry for the character. So we can work, work on both sides of the character. So now we can do some sculpting. And to start, I'll activate this grab brush so I can grab part of the geometry and start dragging the ear out for the elf look. So let me turn on the wireframe. To activate the wireframe you can click on this pl uh, on this check mark here and so you can see how the geometry changes. I will smooth out by holding shift and tap on the model and also to change the brush size you can hit f on the keyboard and drag to left or right to change your brush size so this is how i want the ears to look and let's say i'm happy with this look now also i want to add some additional face sculpting and let's go back to our shape keys menu and let's add another shape key We'll call it face. And also don't forget to turn up the value to one. Otherwise all the desired modifications will not be created. So make sure this is turned up to one. So for the face, I want to create more of a chiseled look and I'll define some of the facial characteristics to be more prominent. So let me turn off the overlays and we can start sculpting. So now I'm happy with how the face looks, but now I feel that the ears may look a little bit too long. So to weaken the effect, I can simply go back to the ears layer and I can simply decrease this value in the value slider. And you can even animate this if you would like to show the transition between the uh, initial, the start and finish. So you can even animate the slider. But let's say I want to only keep like 60% of this effect. So I will tap in 0 0.6 to have the ears adjusted. And on the other hand, perhaps you want to take this effect even further. So if we increase the value to 1, this is our limit right now. And this is defined by the max value. So we can increase this value to be 2 or even more, 3, 4. And now you can increase this value to go past one. So you can go to make ears even longer if you prefer. So initial state was, the maximum was one. And if we increase this max value, we can go past that one mark limit. So this is how you make use of shape keys in Blender. 
So let's have a look again. What we got, we went from this simple character. I'll switch to layout and turn on the shading mode. This is our initial character and we added some ears and some face modifications. And with the use of the shape keys, you're able to achieve this effect. And moreover, you can even animate this transition. So if you have any questions about this tutorial, please let me know in the comments. And also, if you have found this video useful, give it a like. I would really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.